Stone Cezanne's sudden departure as ANC Chief Whip in Parliament caught many off guard, but the party is assured he's headed for a diplomatic posting in Europe. There have been 11 ANC Chief Whips since 1994. Former ANC MP and party veteran Ben Turok says the high turnover is because of the taxing nature of the job, juggling being the face and voice of the party while negotiating with the opposition to help run an effective legislature. It wears you down and I'm actually surprised that it's lasted so long because it is very stressful. Now before him, Matore Mochecha had great difficulty to, to control his temper and to handle the stress. So, you know, one after another, you have to have a certain kind of personality to handle all these different tensions. But who's likely to be the next ANC chief? Well, those who know the caucus say the party may look for someone outside of parliament. The cadership in parliament is not as strong as it used to be. And at the moment, I think that the caucus is rather weak and that I would have difficulty in finding a new chief whip in the caucus. But one analyst says whoever is appointed needs to do a balancing act of towing the party line while also working with the opposition to help parliament run smoothly. If we don't want to see this parliament continuously be held back, uh, what kind of moving forward will not just the new chief whip, but I think relationships that are crafted with the other chief whips will also be important in terms of moving forward. The ANC's National Executive Committee is expected to meet in the coming weeks to decide who will take up the job. Lester Kivit, Parliament.